What's up guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I wanted to talk to you about click pops and what they are and how you can use them. So a click pop is basically, um, a, it's basically a pop-up that you can use now, not only in addition to your ClickFunnels pop-up, so you could have two, you can actually use it on any page you want to. So if you're editing using WordPress or Thrive Themes or Wix or LeadPage, whatever it is, um, you can use this click pop and basically you can take any page from your ClickFunnels funnel take any page and make that as a pop-up. So let me show you what that looks like. So here, as you would see, this would be your pop-up, your regular ClickFunnels pop-up. So as you can see, nothing in the back is kind of grayed out. Um, so it doesn't bring attention to this, but you can customize this, right? And this is one option. Now here's, here's the other option. That's a click pop. If I click preview and let me just pretend I'm about to exit. So it pops up. As you can see, everything is now grayed out and it, it has more space so there's a little x over there right now the other cool thing is two one is again you can use this on any page you want to second of all it doesn't have to be grayed out you can actually make whatever you want here so you can add another picture you can add another image anything you want you can have in this background instead so let me just show you how we can do that so i'm going to go back to this page here let me just um Remove all that. Okay, so okay, so um, let's go to our click pop here. Now again, you can use this click pop code for any page. It does not have to be this click pop, right? So if you go here and say I I want to add a new step, I can go to click pop and it gives me pre-made templates. So as you can see, these templates they have the background grayed out. You can use that. Or you can use ones that already have a picture in the background, something like that, or you can add your own picture, right? So as you can see there, it's got a little ocean there. This one's got something else. Um, this one's got a little sun and lady in the back, right? So you can do that. Uh, that's totally up to you. But for the purpose I'm, for the, for the, for the purpose of this, I'll just be using this one just to make it simple. So let's go here. First thing we'll need to do is we will need to go into publishing on any page and click on get click pop code. So I'm going to copy this code into my notepad. And what I'll need to do is I will need to separate the two, and I'll tell you why in a bit. So I'm going to make this one and then this one script, okay? Now, the other options you have here are you can make a trigger on mouse exit. So as you saw there, I was about to exit, and it came up, okay? So I can say yes. Uh, the other thing is I can make it a time delay. So when someone goes to your page, you can give them a certain amount of seconds before this pop-up kind of shows up and triggers, okay? So let's now... Let's do this. So let's say we want a five second delay and we do want it to trigger our mouse. So I'm going to copy that code actually. I'm going to paste it there and let me again separate that out. So now we can exit out of this and we can go to any page we want to where we want to add this. So let's say it's our sales page. I'm going to go here. I'll go to uh, edit page. So this Okay, so first thing we'll need to do as we go here is we'll need to go to tracking code and we need to put this whole thing. So I'm going to copy everything I have here and I will put it in the footer section. Okay, so I'll paste that there and I'll click save. So now let's see what that's going to look like. So if I'm about to exit, it pops up, right? And I can exit that over here. Or if I wait five seconds, it's going to pop up. So I'm not going to do anything. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. Okay. Uh, so what if we want to make it uh, clickable upon clicking on a button, for example, we want another pop up to show when we click on a button, what we need to do is we need to copy all of this part from the little quotation mark there, from the first one to the last one, copy everything in between, and then put it on whatever element you want to. So for example, for a button, we can put it here. Or if you want to make it link to a text, select whatever text you want, click on this little link thing, and go there, click Save. Let's see what that looks like. Now they click on this button, it's going to show up the pop up. They click on that, it's going to show up a pop up. Now, if you want to make it uh, link to an image, so so if you want to add it to an image, you can't just uh, put it there. So let me show you. If if I put that here, link URL, it will not show. Right, it's going to take me to a new page. Uh, so if you want to make it on an image, uh, you really have two options. One is you can just finish the page. So if I go back here, this is the page that we're kind of promoting, right? This click pop page. So we can either finish it and just give this URL onto that image. Or a second option is when we go to publishing, when we go to click pop, 
we can uh, custom image link and we can upload our image and we can put it there. Uh, it does get a bit messy because you do need to adjust the size, you know, depending on the size of your image, you need to adjust it, you need to play with some code, you need to center it, you need to uh, adjust the width, adjust the height. I would personally stay away from that and I would just use buttons uh, and, and the links like I showed you. But if you want to do images, these are your really two options. Uh, the easier one would probably just be finishing the page and just giving that uh, URL instead, even though it will take them to, to kind of a new tab. Um, that's still something that's available. So that's about it. Uh, I hope that was helpful. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. For those of you that have subscribed, thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.